Hi, Stephen Smith here, and I believe that I have a word from the Lord for you today. You know, over the past couple of weeks, we've taken these scriptures that the Lord has shown me, and I've shared them with all of you. I hope it's been a blessing for you. I know that it's been a blessing for me to share them. You know, God's ultimate purpose in all of this is to talk to us, to call us, to bring us into a closer fellowship with Him. And when we do, that's called a Zoe life. It's a life that's prosperous, victorious, and exactly what God has planned for you. He has this plan for everyone. Look at John 3.36. It tells us, And anyone who believes in God's Son has eternal life. Anyone who doesn't obey the Son will never experience eternal life, but remain under God's angry judgment. You know, this, this is John the Baptist talking a little bit about Jesus Christ, and he's helping us to understand this fact, that first of all, eternal life is available to us. And he's not talking about people who deliberately disobey. This word obey simply means that um, it's to be apathetic, is how it actually translates. It's to not have belief, to not to be willing to believe the truth of what's out there. So it's ignoring the truth rather than anything else. And just because it says that, that we're under God's angry judgment, what it really means is that we're living a life without God. And that's how it purely translates. I think the message translation actually gets it right in this case. Let's look at that. This is why whoever accepts and trusts the Son gets in on everything, life complete and forever. And that is also why the person who avoids and distrusts the Son is in the dark and doesn't see life. All he experiences is God, is the God of darkness, and an angry darkness at that. So really what we're seeing is, is that if you don't have God in your life, then you don't have God in your life. You don't have the victory. You don't have the light. You don't have what God's providing for you. And that's why people reach out and try and find all these different reasons why so why they aren't achieving this ultimate life. And then they go out and they pursue other things, riches, fame, fortune. Um, it affects us in so many different ways because we're trying to change things. What it's really all about is God changing the life that we live. If we allow God's life to be able to come into us, then it'll totally transform the way that we look. And in fact, the definition of Zoe life is eternal life. But Kenneth Hagin says that it's actually the life of God in us. Can you imagine living your life with the life of God in you? Well, it's available. All you have to do is accept it. Look at John 5, 24. It says this, and this is Jesus saying, I tell you the truth. Those who listen to my message and believe in the God who sent me have eternal life. They will never be condemned for their sins, but they have already passed from death into life. That initial statement that Jesus uses where he says, I tell you the truth, it's literally the word amen, which means, and so this shall surely be. If that's the case, then eternal life is surely yours. All you have to do is believe in Jesus Christ. And the other part of this is, is that you will surely not be condemned for our sins because we've already passed from death into life. Jesus Christ's mission for us was to come in and to change our lives. Think about this. He came that our sins might be forgiven. He came that we might have a right relationship with God and that salvation would be provided for us. Eternal Zoe life. That's what his ultimate mission for us was. John 10, 10. I came that you might have life and enjoy it. Guess what that is? It's Zoe life. And that you have it, it might have it in abundance to the full until it overflows. This is a powerful statement for us because God really, really wants to share his life with you. It's not about you sharing your life with him. He doesn't care about that. What he wants is a relationship that enables you to see his love for you in everything that you do and that others see, see as well. So here's the word that I believe that the Lord has for you today. Come to me out of the darkness, all you who have not yet found the light that you're seeking. For you who are already living in the light, help those who don't believe so that they can have a rich, abundant, prosperous life also. You know, God will talk to and work throughout our lives if we just allow him to. I encourage you to go down to the link below and click that, click on that. This will enable you to be able to download these scriptures and, and look at them at your own leisure, to be able to chew on them, to be able to see the truth and the validity of what God's promise is for you. I also encourage you to share this on Facebook. If this made a difference in your life, it'll make a difference in others as well. You can also share it on YouTube. You can go to our website at awfg.today. Our blog is posted there now. So you can even go and make comments about this 
or you can see all of our previous videos as well. You're also more than welcome to join us on our podcast. Well, I just wanted to say God bless you and thank you for listening all the way to the end.